Our mission is to educate, entertain, and elevate through student-created video promoting school spirit and telling the stories of the diverse Centennial community. For over 20 years, we have played, created, studied, and dreamed. Late nights and early mornings don't slow us down. We are united. We are leaders on the field and in the classroom. We are motivated. We are ambitious. We are confident. We are the future. We are Centennial. Centennial High School, home of the Knights, formerly known for its football games and lacrosse, now holds the title for best turf. But who is the man behind the best turf? One day, Cornelius Turf shows up and says, uh, I'm here to count the turf. He acts like it's like an official thing, and I'm like, this guy is crazy. He's the man. He's the legend. He's Turf Man. I'm like, who wants to count all these pellets? I have no idea what to do. He goes out and just says, leave it to me, I got this. And all of a sudden, he comes back with data, he comes back with information. And at this point, I have no idea what I would do without C-Turf, Corny, whatever you want to call him. He's been a huge part of Centennial High School. Each game, athletes come off this field and every single one of them turf in their shoes. Well, how am I supposed to know how much turf is out there? That cow, that guy right out there. Without him, we would be nothing. Our turf is better because of Cornelius. You may think turf man's job is weird, but he's saving lives, one pellet at a time. What's going on? It's your favorite hall monitor, Travis. Since no one's walking in the halls inside, I decided to come outside and look around. And what I found today, is a rock partridge. He's just chilling, man. Just looking for a good time and a couple friends. By the way, your bird of the week is the rock partridge. Yo, so did you hear about the ailment of the week? No, what is it? Oxygen. Oxygen? Can you tell me about it? I heard that the atomic number is eight. Eight? I heard the atomic mass was 16. Oh. Speaking of O. Speaking of O. That's the atomic symbol. Is it really? Yeah. No way. Your element of the week is oxygen. Keep breathing. Hi, my name is Clayton Forston, and I'm the uh, Centennial High School varsity Jedi fighting coach. This program's been running for about the past like 20, 21 years, and I've been here for the last five, and we've had quite some success. You know, um, we've had some very promising students come through. You ever heard of Darth Vader? Yeah, uh, Darth, I coached Darth for about, for his four years here, and um, yeah, he was a late bloomer, you know. We actually had two students of ours qualify for the 
Intergalactic Jedi Olympics. Uh, those students being Sean Ussery and Daniel Cardellino. Uh, hi, my name is Sean Ussery. Uh, I'm a four-year varsity letterman on the Sabre team. And this year I qualified for a second team All-Galaxy. Misconceptions about the sport. Uh, one, we don't actually use real Sabres in practice. Uh, two, uh, the Force actually isn't allowed in competition. <gasps> It's kind of like a cheap move. Some refs let it slide, but you're not supposed to. Three, uh, tournaments and prizes don't actually pay that well. I'd say last year, I only lost one match, but I only came out with about 20 Imperial credits. So I mean, it's more about loving the sport than doing it for the money. Hi, my name is Daniel Cardellino. Uh, I'm a six year senior. My favorite thing about the team is last year when I went to Region, I was able to take the Millennium Falcon up to the uh, Intergalactic Space Station. Favorite move is definitely the turkey smash ground dig. We're actually holding tryouts next uh, Monday. And come if you want, just check it out if you're interested. It's, uh, it's BYOS, bring your own saber, of course. And um, it's not going to be like last year, I promise. The Death Star is not shutting this one down. I'm here with the Word of the Week crew. Guys, how do you think your segment's going? Uh, it's going good. Uh, you heard it here, it's going good. Matthew, what do you think of your segment? Um, I think it is also going good. Very cool. What is, your word of the, what is the Word of the Week? Um, arduous, yeah. Arduous, you heard it here first, folks. Hey Centennial, your word of the week is arduous. It means requiring great exertion, laborious, or difficult. An example of it is an arduous undertaking. Hey Centennial, remember this week to show some school spirit as your color of the week is Centennial Blue. We're here on the set of Out for the Day, which is our next segment. And honestly, I think I'm looking pretty snazzy. I might grab a clip in there, but look at them go.